Venice, Budapest crashes renew debate on cruise ship safety. The 65,500-ton cruise ship that crashed into a much smaller riverboat docked along the canal on Sunday proved them wrong. Italy's transport minister ordered the head of the Venice port to Rome on Monday to discuss the accident, while Venice's mayor called for rerouting the cruise ships from the heart of the fragile lagoon city, if not from the lagoon itself. But environmental campaigners say the only legitimate response is an immediate ban on cruise ships from entering the lagoon. They allege that a fifth all. The dramatic Venice collision injured five people. Video showed the end. Four days earlier, a tour boat capsized on the Danube River in Budapest after colliding with a river cruise ship, leaving nine people dead and another 19 missing as of Monday. The accidents have refocused attention on safety measures for cruise ships, especially when they are navigating waterways in cities like Venice, the Hungarian capital and others that draw large numbers of tourists. Despite the debate that has raged in Venice over the regular passage of the behemoths, the historic city remains one of the world's top ports of call for cruise ships, with twice the traffic of any other Adriatic port. Last year, cruise ships traversed street. Mark's Basin, in Budapest, traffic of the smaller river cruise ships is up significantly. On Monday, Budapest Mayor Istvan Tarlos recently said ships like the Viking Sijin, the river cruise ship that provoked the deadly accident, should not be allowed to moor in the city center. Venice environmentalists have long complained that cruise ships displace water, wear down fragile foundations, cause air pollution and damage the delicate lagoon environment by dredging up the muddy bottom. Silvio Testa, a long-time campaigner, said the lagoon environment is slowly morphing from its natural state into an extension of the sea, with a depth that stood at 40 centimeters nearly 16 inches a century ago worn down by all manner of sea traffic to 1 meters some 60 inches now. Venice Mayor Luigi Brugnero, meanwhile, is backing a plan to move the terminal to the nearby industrial port of Marghera, where there is heavy oil tanker traffic. Damasto said the Marghera solution has a fundamental issue, that the route is used by industrial and commercial traffic, and a government directive prohibits mixing passenger traffic with potentially. Ultimately, cruise line companies see the passage in front of street. Mark's square at the pits. Damasto questioned why the ship was not impounded by authorities after causing such a serious accident. The opera planned to resume its week-long itinerary on Monday but was delayed for repairs to the hull. The MSC crew, Mike Driscoll, editor of the trade publication Cruise Week, does not believe either the Venice or the Budapest accidents will have a major impact on the global cruise industry, which fully recovered from the Costa disaster after an 18-month downturn. Industry figures show cruise passenger numbers have increased 72% in Europe over the last 10 years, to nearly 7 million, and 68.5% globally to nearly 27 million. They Dusan Stajanovic reported from Budapest.